Introduction, Three's Company, the iconic American sitcom that first aired in 1976, remains a timeless classic that continues to capture the hearts of audiences around the world. This beloved television series, created by Don Nishal, Michael Ross, and Bernie West, became a cultural phenomenon during its eight-year run, leaving an indelible mark on the history of television comedy. Why is Three's Company so popular? Free's Company owes its enduring popularity to its unique premise, clever humor, and stellar performances by its talented cast. The show's central plot revolves around the misadventures of Jack Tripper, played by the charismatic John Ritter, who pretends to be gay in order to live with two female roommates, Janet Wood and Chrissy Snow, in a Santa Monica apartment. The series artfully combines witty one-liners, physical comedy, and misunderstandings, creating a perfect recipe for laughter and entertainment. The humorous situations arising from the misunderstanding of Jack's true sexuality and the shenanigans that follow as he attempts to maintain this charade provide a constant source of laughter and charm. Free's company effectively tackled societal taboos and challenging themes with humor, wit, and empathy, breaking new ground in the portrayal of social relationships on television. Notable actors and actresses, the series showcased a talented ensemble cast, each contributing their unique charm to the show. In addition to John Ritter, Joyce DeWitt, and Susan Summers, Three's Company featured remarkable actors and actresses in supporting roles, such as Norman Fell as the sarcastic landlord, Stanley Roper, and Audra Lindley as his wife, Helen Roper. Later in the series, when the Ropers moved out, their roles were filled by Don Knotts as the quirky landlord, Ralph Furley, and Jenna Lee Harrison as the sweet but somewhat naive Cindy Snow. Fond memories, as fans of Three's Company, we fondly recall the endless laughter it brought into our living rooms. The sitcom's memorable catchphrases, hilarious misunderstandings, and the endearing chemistry between the characters remain etched in our hearts. Whether it was the classic physical comedy moments or the heartwarming friendships formed between the characters, Three's Company created cherished memories for viewers of all ages. If you have any fond memories or hilarious stories about Three's Company that you'd like to share, we'd love to hear from you. Feel free to reminisce about the unforgettable moments that made this show so special to you. In conclusion, Three's Company holds a treasured place in television history thanks to its captivating premise, brilliant humor, and outstanding cast performances. Even after all these years, the show's humor and heart continue to resonate with audiences, making it a timeless classic that will be cherished for generations to come. In 1976, Three's Company became an iconic sitcom loved worldwide. As the final season approached, a potential spin-off, Three's a crowd, was in the works, keeping it a secret until Joyce DeWitt stumbled upon auditions. Emotions ran high as the cast learned about the spin-off, creating tension on set. The series ended bittersweetly, with laughter and farewells. Three's a crowd did air but lacked the original's magic. Despite challenges, both shows hold a place in TV history. They teach us about life's surprises and the power of friendship. A legacy of these talented actors' lives on. Step into the time machine, journey back to the groovy 1970s, and meet the iconic TV series, Three's Company. Premiered in 1976, it followed the comical misadventures of roommates Jack Tripper, portrayed by John Ritter. His witty remark in the pilot episode was a touching tribute to his father, Tex Ritter, a renowned actor and singer. John Ritter, a showbiz icon himself, brought brilliance to Jack Tripper, making him beloved. The chemistry among the main cast members added authenticity to the sitcom. As we reminisce, we feel nostalgic for those simpler times. Free's company remains a timeless gem, and John Ritter's tribute to his father adds sentimentality. Let's raise a toast to the magic of classic TV and the unforgettable talents who brought joy and laughter into our lives. Farewell as we conclude this trip down memory lane. Knowing the legacy of Three's Company, John Ritter, and Tex Ritter will shine in fans' hearts. Three's Company, the iconic sitcom that graced our screens in 1976, left a lasting impact on television history. Amidst the laughter and heartwarming moments, Priscilla Barnes, who portrayed Terry Alden, faced personal struggles backstage. The entertainment industry's challenging environment cast a shadow over her promising career, but she persevered, delivering captivating performances week after week. Priscilla's journey is a poignant reminder of the challenges actors endure. 
As the show concluded, she moved forward, exploring her talent in diverse roles, showcasing her resilience and dedication. Free's company remains a timeless classic and Priscilla Barnes' portrayal of Terry Alden stands as a testament to the enduring spirit of the human soul. In the golden age of television, the sitcom Three's Company became an instant classic with its humor and endearing characters. In the biography Andy and Don, Don not shares his insecurities and triumphs joining the cast. Transitioning to a three-camera sitcom posed a challenge for the seasoned actor known for The Andy Griffith Show. However, the studio audience's overwhelming standing ovation on his first day boosted his confidence, and he embraced his role as Mr. Furley with zeal. Don Knotts' legacy as a comedic genius remains etched in fans' memories, showcasing the power of encouragement and acceptance. Free's company will forever be cherished, and Don Knotts' triumphant journey reminds us of the human spirit's resilience. Free's Company, a beloved sitcom, continues to charm audiences with its hilarious misunderstandings and lovable characters. Behind the scenes, however, a real-life drama unfolded during a contentious period when Susan Summers demanded a pay raise, leading to her termination. Don Knotts, having experienced a similar situation on The Andy Griffith Show, understood the emotional toll and stood by Susan. His act of solidarity highlighted the importance of empathy in show business. While Three's company went on without Susan, Don Knotts' compassion serves as a timeless reminder of standing up for what is right and supporting one another. His actions revealed the true character behind the iconic Mr. Furley and showcased the power of empathy, friendship, and camaraderie. As we bid farewell to Three's company, let us not forget the lessons it teaches us and strive to treat others with compassion and understanding. Three's Company, a sitcom that debuted in 1976, left an indelible mark on television history. It captivated audiences with its hilarious antics and endearing characters, but behind the scenes, there was drama. In Come and Knock on Our Door by Chris Mann, the book reveals behind-the-scenes turmoil. One intriguing incident occurred in late 1977. John Ritter, Cindy Williams, and Penny Marshall engaged in a playful prank on the bustling ABC lot. They taunted Ritter with suggestive gestures, challenging the show's perception as solely focused on sexual humor. This impromptu exchange showcased their camaraderie and wit, reminding us of the complexity within the entertainment industry. Three's company's legacy and iconic characters remain etched in fans' hearts worldwide. Helm and Knock on Our Door expertly captures the show's essence, unveiling the human drama amidst the laughter. The prank serves as a testament to the bond shared by Ritter, Williams, and Marshall, both on and off the screen. As Three's company continues to inspire new generations, it reminds us that there is always more to the story. Three's company, a classic television sitcom, captivated audiences with its humor and misunderstandings. Susan Summers' contract dispute in 1980 was a defining moment. She demanded a significant raise and ownership stake, claiming her co-star, John Ritter, had the same deal. In reality, Ritter earned less and had no ownership. This earnings gap stemmed from star billing, benefiting Ritter as the central character. Interestingly, Ritter's popularity led to a spin-off series, Three's a crowd, excluding Summers and Joyce DeWitt. Ritter's involvement in the spin-off brought him a raise in ownership. Despite the dispute, Three's company remains beloved showcasing the complexities of the entertainment industry. The show's enduring legacy owes much to Ritter's talent and charm.